Hi, my name is Chris Kovach, and I'm the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynavox. Today, we're going to discuss how to use the Edit Button feature within Communicator 5. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a page set that I created uh, that has four different buttons that link and give uh, the gentleman I built these for different options that he may communicate about in his day-to-day -day routine. So within these four buttons, you'll see we have an option for colors, an option for shapes, an option for SpongeBob, and an option for yes, no. So what we're going to do to demonstrate some of the tools of the edit button feature are go into colors, and we're going to change this purple button to yellow, and then I'm also going to show you how the linking features work by explaining a little bit more about this back button. So the first thing we want to do is either tap the button with the three dots on the left-hand side of the iSeries device to bring up the quick menu guide, or you can tap and hold on the screen to bring up the quick menu guide. You can hit Control M if you have a keyboard plugged in, or you can right click with a mouse. From there, I'm going to select the Edit Button tool, and you'll see that it highlights all four buttons in red. Since the button I want to work on is the button showing the purple circle, I'm going to click on that button, and it's going to pull me up some of my tools. You'll see on the left hand side, we have text and image, sound, and the link. On the right hand side, we're previewing what the button currently has available. So we see uh, an image of the button. It shows us our purple circle with the word purple on it. It tells us that our sound is utilizing th synthesized speech. Now we currently have no link assigned to that button. So let's start making some changes. Let's change the text on this button to be yellow. And you'll see that it's automatically updating my image search. Uh, so I want to then select something that's consistent with the rest of my buttons. So I might choose this yellow circle here. Um, please know that you can select any of the drawings, uh, whatever works best for your particular situation. You can also take a photo on the iSeries device or on your computer, if that's where you're using this, um, using the built-in cameras. Or if you have a USB drive that you have plugged into your computer or into the side of the iSeries that has videos from um, another area or something you've downloaded onto that jump drive, you could browse for those here, just like browsing for any other document on a Windows-based computer. You would plug it in and then locate your drive on the left-hand side, open it up, and you would see your pictures. You would just have to navigate to the picture you wanted. But for our purposes, we're going to use the yellow circle. We're going to use the word yellow, and now we're going to double-check our sound. So we currently have synthesized speech, which means the device is speaking for us. We have a recorded sound showing that we could actually record a sound ourselves, um, such as my voice saying the word yellow. We have a sound file, which means we could have downloaded a sound file or um, used a previously recorded sound. Uh, if we did any prior voice banking uh, or anything like that, we would search for those files here. Or we could put no sound on the button. We're going to stick with synthesized speech. And you will see when you have synthesized selected that you have two options at the bottom. Speak the text on the button or speak this text. Speak the text on the button will literally just say the word yellow. And you can test that by clicking the, lit, the listen button here. Yellow. So if you wanted to change that uh, and speak a longer message, we could type in Maybe something like, I like the color yellow. I like the color yellow. It's completely up to you on what's uh, the most appropriate uh, response for when the customer were to hit that button. In our situation, we're just going to leave it speak the text on button. Yellow. So that it says the word yellow when we hit uh, that particular button. And then we have our link function at the bottom. Now right now, this button does not link to anything, which is uh, notated both on the right hand side and by the radio button here saying no link. We'll talk a little bit more about linking when we work on our back button. So right now, all I want to do is say, okay, I'm done with my changes, and you'll see that my button um, changes to yellow. Yellow. It says yellow, it does everything I expect it to do. And you also notice that we have an unsaved changes box that's now appeared in our upper left-hand corner. This is just letting us know we've modified something on the page, and if we navigate away from it without saving, uh, we will lose those changes. 
So it's just kind of a warning symbol for you. Okay, so now we want to work on the linking for our back button, or at least show you how that works. So we're going to again bring up our quick menu guide, select edit button, and this time we can select our back button. Now, we don't want to change the image or the text. We don't want to change the sound. We want to change the linking, or at least look at the linking. So right now, you'll see that we are linked to the Go to Page button. So for our yellow button, we didn't have a link, so we selected no link. Um, you could select um, the back button or the back option as well, which means when you push the button, it would say yellow, and at the same time, take that person back one page. Um, I'm sorry, that was if we attached it to the yellow button. On the back button, it would take us back uh, one page. So depending on how complex your page set design is, um, what I wanted this to do was simply go to the home page that I created, the one that initially said colors, shapes, SpongeBob, uh, and yes, no. And you'll see that when I browse for page, those are the options because I built all those pages uh, within this particular page set. So anytime I have the back button, I just wanted to go back to the very beginning. Um, you could have it linked to any of those pages. Uh, it's completely up to you on where you want it to navigate. Uh, or if this wasn't a back button, if this was um, linking to something else that you created, you could have it go to a different page set entirely. So you could have it go to any other prior page set that you built or downloaded or had into the system. So I could have it linked to my emotions page if I wanted to. And then lastly, you can click on Other, uh, which gives you a drop-down. So you can click on Back to the Previous Page Set. This home here will actually, ta actually take you to the Communicator 5 home page. So um, it wouldn't take you to the home page I created that has color, shapes, and SpongeBob. It would take you all the way back out to Communicator 5. Uh, and then you also have some additional tools here that you can choose from or go through um, to set up any linking. In our case, I just wanted to go back to my home page, so I'm going to leave it on what I had. I'm going to click OK, and you'll see that when I click back, back, it takes me back to that initial home page. The last thing we want to cover is how to save. The easiest way to do this is, again, to bring up your quick menu guide, and you'll see you have two options on the right-hand side. Save, which will overwrite the original document, so that button that I had uh, listing as purple that we changed to yellow, if I click Save, it will stay as yellow. So when I come back into this, purple will no longer be an option. If I click Save As, that gives me the opportunity to name it something different so that I would really then have two files. I would have one that would take me to an option that has yellow listed and one that has an option for purple. In this case, I'm not going to need two, so I'm just going to click Save. And you'll see that my Unsaved Changes box goes away in the upper left-hand corner. And if I exit the page and go to my Communicator 5 homepage and go back in to my colors, colors. yellow is saved appropriately. I no longer have purple. Yellow. Back. My back button still works, so everything works as expected. I hope that helps answer some questions on using the Edit Button tool in Communicator 5. If you have any other questions, please feel free to let us know. Thanks, and have a great day.